case today. Warren Marston and Lalonde are just going to go in battle along out in front. Bally Henry to follow them. Let's join Simon. Well, that was interesting because none of these jockeys clearly thought they were going to make the running here. And Lalonde and Warren Marston rather left in front. Jair de Cochet almost joining him as they jump uh, the first fence. And Jair de Cochet lands ahead of Lalonde and then best mate who, as John mentioned, was forced to make his own running in this race 12 months ago. Valley Henry in the big nose band on the inside, the green sleeve jacket, and then uh, Ven Ottery and Strong Magic. Both Ven Ottery and Strong Magic rated well over 90 pounds, would you believe, inferior to best mate. We jump the next, and it's Jair de Cochet that now makes the running. It does not look a good gallop, but the rain has got into the ground here, and a combination of speed and stamina will be required over this two and a half mile trip, which, uh, as we've been remarking all day, is on the short side, certainly for best mate and for Valley Henry, perhaps, as they take the next. Jed de Cochet not too fluent at that, and passed on the outside by best mate. He's just gently sweating down the neck at the start. He looked in great nick. Lalandier on the inside, the much improved mare. One of the stars of last season, Jair de Cochet's third, Valley Henry in fourth, Ven Ottery, and finally Strong Magic. So they're on the run towards the home turn on this first circuit, and now the dual gold cup winner is in front. Best mate, taking a keen hold at the reins, ahead of Jair de Cochet on the outside, Jacques Ricou, with Lalandier up the inner, Valley Henry right up the inside there under Joe Tizar, just tucked in behind them from Ven Otter in Strong Magic as they take the next. All jumping pretty well there. Best mate, the 13 to 8 on favourite. He's got a very good record. This is only a 17th race, best mate, but he's never been out of the first two so far. He's won eight of his ten chases. It's a great career record. Just brushes through the top of that fence there. The next is a test, a jumping test, right in front of the stands here. Can be spectacular. It's an open ditch. Lalandier on the far side of best mate as they draw towards it. Gier de Cochet is close up on the outside of these, taking the ditch then. Best mate the first to pick up. They all handle it with a plum. With on the inside, Lalandier still disputing the running. And Gier de Cochet in third. Valley Henry is content to bide his time. To Joe Tizard in fourth place as they take the next plain one, at which Jair de Cochet was probably just back in front, the French Raider. Also, it was one of the very best novices last season. He was second in the Royal and Sun Alliance chase at the festival in March, coming home strongly behind one night. Jair de Cochet, La Londière, Best Mate, and Valley Henry, the big four, are beginning to pull clear now of the No Hopers. They run towards the next plain fence. Coming to it, Jair de Cochet jumps it well. Jair de Cochet over that one, it was the 10th. They're now heading to the water jump. Jair de Cochet by a length and a half to La Landière. And then best mate with Valley Henry on the inside. And a long gap then back to Strong Magic and Ven Ottery dropping right away. John, what do you make of the speed of the race at the moment? Well, they're 12 seconds slower round to the water than last season, and that's why Jim Galotti got in... Uh, got this horse off in front and he, he fiddled three on the bounce just coming past the sand, Simon, just because they, I think they'd gone a muddling pace and they kept, ch kept changing pace. Um, and again, just got in a little bit close to that one, probably a little bit worse than he did on the far side. He'll be looking to get a stronger gallop and uh, you know, get a good jump in coming up and over these next two. Yes, he definitely hit that fence. It's not helping him that Jair de Cochet is jumping away to the left and Jim looking to switch inside. Jair de Cochet going left at most of the fences. Best mate now switched to the rail. Valley Henry is third. Lalandier just being nudged along in fourth place. They turn out of the back straight. They've only got two fences still to cross. The race beginning to hot up. Lalandier of the big four is the first to crack here, but the other three still going well enough. It's Jair de Cochet. Valley Henry goes up into second and best mate is he just being niggled slightly? I'm not so sure. They turn right-handed, and it's Jair de Cochet, best mate up the inside of Valley Henry, 
as now they begin to straighten up for the final two fences. Jair de Cochet in the centre, best mate on the left, joining him now. Valley Henry is back in third. It's now getting tough. Jair de Cochet continues to run on strongly, and best mate coming under pressure in second place, and he can't go with the French horse. Valley Henry's back in third, and Jair de Cochet full of running at the final fence. He hit it hard. He's just picked up by Jack Ricou. Best mate running out of steam a little bit in second place. Valley Henry's back in third and racing up towards the line. Could this be a new star? It comes from France. Its name is Jack Jair de Cochet, and he wins the Peterborough Chase in great style, lowering the colours of best mate. In third is Valley.